Hi there, this is me again, Mr. Zamora, and I am here again to explain Algebra 1, JJ1, Theoretical Probability. Okay, um, as you can see, we're going to be talking about probability. This is the very first exercise that we work with probability, so it is going to be a really, really easy exercise. Kind of, because sometimes you have to think... Uh, you have to, to start uh, thinking, you have to start putting your mind into work, all right? So we have a coin, you flip a coin, and it says, what is P? And then we have parentheses heads, which means what is the probability to get heads? So how many probabilities are there? Um, let me just put it into paint so I can edit it so what you have to do right here is just use like um, a fraction and you're going to to write as a numerator uh, the number of pro or of possibilities so there are two possibilities uh, which is heads and tails right so you're going to write under the line uh, the number of possibilities and you're being asked about what is the probability to get heads. So only one probability to get heads. Um, so it is one out of two. This is our answer. But before you write that answer, you have to check how they want your answer to be written. Um, it says that you have to write it as a fraction or a whole number. So in this case, you can just write one half in here and that will be correct. All right, one, I'm sorry, uh, one half, okay? Uh, super, the next one, you roll a die, a six-sided die. What is the probability to get a prime number? Okay, remember, prime numbers, um, okay, uh, what is the probability to get a prime number? So number one, number one is not prime, uh, nor the other kind of numbers. So number one is not going to be playing uh, between prime numbers, all right? So the prime numbers that we have from two to six are two. Two is a prime number. Remember, a prime number is a number that can be divided um, or that only has two factors, itself and number one. So that can be divided by itself or by number one. So two, three is another prime number. Four is not a prime number, but five is a prime number. Six is not a prime number. So the other numbers that are not prime are one, uh, four, and six. So there are a total of six possibilities, right? Six possibilities. And the possibility to get a prime number are three possibilities, two, three, and five. Those are prime numbers. Um, if we... Simplify this, it will be one half again, and you, we need to write our answers as a percentage. So to do this, we solve this, uh, we do the division, and the result is going to be 0 0.5, and 0 0.5 equals 50% if we translate this into a percent number, okay? So our answer is going to be 50%. Submit. Okay, you spin the spinner once. What is the probability to get less than eight? Okay, less than eight. Less than eight means seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, all right? So there are only four numbers. One number is eight. And the other number is 9. These numbers are not less than 8. So, um, 
in order to do this, uh, we need to, again, to check how many possibilities in total are there. There are one, two, three, and four possibilities. Okay, pause, four possibilities. And how many possibilities are there to get less than eight? Only six and seven are less than eight. Only two possibilities. We do, we simplify this and we get one half and we have to write this as a fraction. So we can just copy this into our IXL page. Okay. Uh, we have cards now. We have four cards, two, three, four, and five. What is the probability to get a divisor of 15? You know, a divisor of 15, it means that uh, you divide it by that number and the remainder is going has to be zero. Okay? So, uh, again, whoopsie, uh, sorry about that. Uh, again, uh, let's go to paint. I am going to create a new file, a new paint file. Um, okay, so how many possibilities do we have? The, if there are four cards, there are four possibilities, okay? And how many divisors of 15 are there in total? So if we divide 15 by 2, equals seven, but with remainder of one. So this is not a good number. It is not a divisor. Two is not a divisor of 15. 15 divided by three equals five with remainder zero. Mm -hmm. So it is going to play. Uh, 15 divided by four equals three and remainder three. 15 divided by 5 equals 3, remainder 0. Yeah. So there are two possibilities that we get, uh, 3 or 5, uh, which are divisors of 15. So if we simplify it, it's going to be 1 half, but we need to write it as a percentage. Uh, so it equals 0 0.5 again, and it equals 50%. Okay, all right, so our answer is going to be 50%. The next one, we roll a die, okay? What is the possibility to get four or a divisor of four? All right, so in this case, again, if we roll a dice, there are six possibilities in total. And what is the possibility to get, we have uh, one, two, okay, let me write it in, right here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. These are the total of possibilities. So I am, I am going to circle the numbers that uh, fulfill this condition, okay? That they are four or divisors of four. So I am going to circle this one. So is number one a divisor of four? So if I divide four by one, do I, I am, am, am I going to get a zero remainder? The answer is yes. So number one is a divisor of four. Number two, four by 2 equals 2, remainder 0. 4 by 3 equals 1, remainder 1. 4 by 5, not possible. And 4 by 6, well, it's going to be 0 and 0, and remainder of 4. Okay, so there are three possibilities again. So um, the answer is 1 half if we simplify it. But if we write it as a percentage, again, we are going to have 50%. So the answer is 50. Again, you pick a card at random. You have one, two, three, four. Okay, you have four cards with those numbers. And what is the possibility to get a not divisor of 72? Pay attention to that word, not. Okay? Um, 
so uh, how many possibilities are there there are in total four possibilities so 72 divided by 1 equals 72 okay and remainder 0 so number 1 is a divisor of 72 72 divided by 2 equals 36 remainder 0 so it actually is a uh, divisor of 72 72 divided by 3 equals 24 okay yeah it's easy to know that because sometimes when you say you have three days to do it or in other words you can say you have 72 hours to do it because every day has 24 hours so 72 by 3 equals 24 remainder 0 72 divided by 4 equals 18 I guess yeah 18 and remainder 0 so all of these numbers are um, divisors of 72 the four numbers so in other words uh, we have a 1 or 1 over 1 uh, we have to simplify it and answer it as a fraction or whole number so uh, the answer is going to be 1 okay because uh, we have 100 possibilities to get a divisor of 72. What the heck? Ah! The... Qué bruto, pónganle cero. All right. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. I forgot. I told you at the beginning, pay attention to this word. Not. So I forgot to pay attention to this word, not. So they are... You have to... to get the numbers that are not divisors of 72 yeah so it is the opposite okay uh, yeah so the answer is zero or zero percent because um, all of these are divisors of 72 but the question is what is the possibility to get a not divisor of 72 because all of them are divisor of 72 there is zero possibilities okay got it all right uh, number this is our seventh problem you flip a coin again when you flip coins you have two possibilities in total um, so we are going to start writing our fraction uh, what is the possibility to get heads only one one half all right we are going to write it as a fraction one half all right uh, there are, we we spin the spinner and again what is the possibility that, is we start writing a fraction there are four possibilities but the question said what is the possibility to get three or divisor of 40 okay so this one is one of them now we are going to try find in the others uh, a divisor of 40 so 40 divided by 40 I'm, I'm sorry by 4 equals 10 remainder zero so it is a divisor of 40 40 divided by 2 equals 20 remainder zero okay it is a divisor of 40 40 divided by 1 equals 40 remainder zero so it is also a divisor of 40 so it doesn't have the word not so i am going, i'm going to make sure of that so all of them are going to play or are gonna enter in this possibility so four out of four which this equals one okay we have to write as a fraction or a whole number so a whole number is going to be one okay so one is our answer it's going to be correct and now we have cards all right um, we have in total 
three possibilities, right? Three possibilities. Uh, so what is the possibility to get four or a factor of 36? Okay, uh, four or a factor of 36. So if we divide 36 by three, factor and divisor are very, very related or if you don't remember how to factorize, you have to go back to, to that activity. But in just like a brief to factorize, we usually we usually divide by two if it is possible. And the answer is 18. And then we are going to divide the result, which is 18, by two again. Now the answer is nine. Now we are going to divide 9, but it is not possible to divide it by 2. So we go to the next number, which is 3, and it is going to be um, 3. And then the result, which, oh, sorry, which is 3, I am going to divide it by 3 again. And the answer is 1, okay? So here are the key numbers that we are going to, to use. Okay, never mind. Just uh, just pay attention to 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 what the other activity says about factoring, and and you're going to do fine. Okay, uh, so number five about number five is going to be divided by two. It's not possible. By three is not possible. By four is not possible. By five is the only because it is a prime number. Right, so five divided by five equals nine. So the only factor of five is five, okay? And so in here, this one, or, or this one is not a factor of 36, but three is also a factor of 36 because it's right here, okay? Because we find it here. These are factors of 36. So there are only two possibilities here or two-thirds we write this as, as a fraction so we're going to write two-thirds and yeah we got a correct answer so we roll a die um, <laughs> we roll a die there are six total possibilities what is a possibility to get even numbers even number. So there are six possibilities, which is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, even numbers are two, four, and five. Okay? Or factor of 45. So uh, is number one a factor of 45? Yes, always. Number one is always factor of every other number. Is number three factor of 45? Yes, because it is divisible by three. Okay. Uh, is number five the, uh, factor of 45? Yes, because it is also divisible by five. So all the numbers are going to be included here, the six numbers. So the answer is one, but we have to write it as a percentage. So the percentage in here is 100%. So it is 100% sure that we are going to get an even number or a factor of 45. Okay, 100%. Uh, I'm going to do one more to compensate the one that I got it incorrect. Okay, so I'm going to get or to create a new paint file and we have a coin. Okay, again, we know that we have, when we have coins, we have two possibilities. What is a possibility that is not head? So, which is that it's tails. So, the possibility is one, which equals um, 0 0.5. And when we convert it, 0 0.5 to a percent, to a percentage is going to be 50%. All right. So, let me know if you have any question. And you can send me a private message via Edmodo or and just make sure that you do 
these problems correctly as I ask you to do it to create a a screenshot or to print it into PDF um, because this month we're going to I am going to be a little bit more strict about that okay see you next video bye bye